Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Serena Moon and I make a wide variety of different content on such subjects like lifestyle, health and wellness, and beauty. And today's video is going to be a review on the perfume house Oksha. Now I have tried four different perfumes from the dupe house Oksha. I did recently haul them in the last video that I posted before this one, so I do recommend go checking that out if you want a more in-depth review on the scents themselves. I wanted this video to be strictly focused on the house itself Oakja. Oakja is mainly a dupe house or a perfume house that dupes popular perfumes, even though they do have some originals. They are based in New York and Toronto, and they're a little bit of a smaller company. You may have heard of Oil Perfumery, which is their sister company, and I believe it's a little bit more popular. I feel like I've heard more people talk about it, and I just wanted to talk about their perfume house, Okja. I have, like I said, four different perfumes that I will go brief briefly over, but I'll talk about longevity, projection, the company itself, and a little bit more. So let's get into it. So this is what the box looks like. Now that I've gotten four different ones, they come quite packaged quite nicely, I would say. They're pretty secure. Inside, very sturdy again. And this is what it says on the inside of each one of their boxes. Welcome to our world of fragrances. We handcraft our fragrances using premium perfume extracts from across the world. Each fragrance is a unique sensory experience that will leave you a lasting impression wherever you go. Tantalize your senses and capture every moment with the perfect fragrance. On their website, they actually say that their perfume oils are the same perfume oils or fragrance oils, shall I say, that they get from, from France, that other very well-known, similar to the ones that they may be duping, companies or perfume houses that get their perfumes from France. So they're using the same high quality uh, fragrance oils as higher end companies, basically what they're saying. I'll try to put that up on the screen. So I found that quite interesting. Now, as for sizing, on average for the 30 mils, they go for around 35 to $50 US. I got all of my 30 mil bottles around, uh, around $60 Canadian. Pretty easy to get these on sale as well for around 10 to 20% off. Usually have sales going on or coupon codes, things like that. So it's a great price for what you get. They're also extra extrait de parfums, which are the strongest concentration around 30 to 40% fragrance oil to alcohol concentration. So colognes are known as the lightest concentration, then there's eau de toilette and eau de parfum, parfum and extrait de parfum. I'm pretty, I want to say parfum and extrait de parfum are pretty much the same thing depending on what you call them. I could be wrong on that, I'll try to confirm, but they're on the higher concentration around 30-40%. So that is what these are. So because of that, I have found that all four that I have tried are extremely long lasting and very well performing. Now, before I get too much into the performance of the perfume, I will say that depending on what one you're getting, when it comes to the price, you just have to see if it's worth it for you. For example, the first one I tried is Midnight Nymph, which is a dupe for YSL's Black Opium. It's a very popular perfume and it is very, very similar if, if not like exact and I, I think it's beautiful I really like the scent uh, again you can check out my review in my perfume haul but <laughs> it's extremely long-lasting it's wonderful but you can get YSL's black opium around I think 75 mil 100 mil for around $60 on discount fragrance websites so when you look at you know, Sephora or places like that where you would buy Black Opium YSL, it is over $100. So I do understand that right away this is a better deal. However, very commonly you can find Black Opium on some sort of discount website like perfumeonline.ca, fragrancenet.com, fragrancebuy.com. They're going to have much more affordable options when it comes to like discounted perfumes. So I saw Black Opium for $60 after I saw this one. Um, uh, for around 100 mil and this is 30 mil so yes it technically is a stronger co concentration however I've heard that black opium the original is extremely good for longevity and projection and things like that so weigh out what you want to do I know some people disagree with perfume houses in general you're not you know sticking tr true to the original art and I do feel that as well the black opium for example 
in itself was, uh, you know, the designer's work of art. So they designed it after the original opium from 1977, and it was supposed to be a modern version of that. And it has, you know, packaging that's supposed to represent that. It's called Opium for a Reason. It's got the coffee. It's very addictive. And it's, it's meant to be something special. And sometimes dupes can take away from that. However, they are a wonderful way to try them. So I think that they are great for that. As for the longevity specifically on Midnight Nymph before I get to the other ones and the brand as a whole, I will say that it is very well performing. It is actually what I wore yesterday and it lasts all day long. It smells beautiful on clothes and skin. I do find it's a lovely scent that projects but also is not too much. I really don't actually like perfumes that are too much, too strong, fill up a whole room. Even though it's an extra de parfum, it doesn't do that. I find you don't need a lot, but if you do put a good amount, it's not going to be overwhelming either, which I really, really appreciate. I just find also that the top to dry is a beautiful experience all around. So this one has been nothing but a good experience. I really, really like it. Now, the other three I will talk about are Amour Oud, which is a dupe for Tom Ford's Oudwood. Kalon, which is a dupe for MFK or Mason Francis Kirk de John's Gentle Fluidy Gold. And the last one I tried is Sweven, which is their dupe for Baccarat Rouge by MFK or Mason Francis Kirk de John. Again, if you want more of an in-depth review on all four of these perfumes and my opinion on the scent profile themselves versus the performance of Ocha, go check out my perfume haul video. Now to briefly speak on Amour Oud, which is Tom Ford's Oud Wood dupe, it is, I bought this for my husband for Christmas actually, and I think it's perfect for him. I think that even the fact that it's a dupe itself is perfect for him. Oud Wood is a very introductory oud, and it's very uh, crowd-pleasing, it's very woody, it's a clean sort of woody if you've ever smelled rosewood essential oil, it's very similar to that. And it lasts a very long time. Like my husband just does one spray on the back of the neck and that's really all he needs, if anything, just like a spray and shimmy inward. <laughs> but about, on the back of the neck, he really, really did seem to like last all day. Uh, my family could smell it. We wore it, he wore it around Christmas time. It's a very, very well performing and um, extremely similar to the original. Yeah, it's very long lasting. We're not, both of us are not big fans on traditional cologne scents. So this was a great hit. It's been lovely. It's quite potent, but good for every day still, yet also sophisticated enough to be good for dinners and things like that. But performance has been no problem whatsoever. It's this one is just as high quality as all of the other ones. If not, it might be the strongest actually out of all four of them. As for the MFK dupes, let's talk about those. Kalon is the dupe for Gentle Fluidy Gold, which is a vanilla scent by MFK. And I really do enjoy it. Again, reviewed it a little bit more in my last video, but it's a juniper forward vanilla. It's uh, quite musky and vanilla in the dry down. I quite enjoy it. Longevity is wild on this. Uh, it lasts a very long time, it's quite strong. I find, whenever I also put perfume right here, it lasts the longest than anywhere else. Like, I'll smell it the next day. And I have found that with some of these, especially the, the Baccarat Rouge one I'm about to talk about, I can smell it on my skin on in the shower the next day. So even though I can't directly like smell it on my wrists anymore or anything like that, I will definitely smell it like steaming off my skin the next day in the shower. So that's very, very well performing. Also, all of these are a little bit on the oily side because they are such uh, or such strong concentrations of oils. There's, they're going to be a little bit oily. So I haven't tried it with like a white shirt or anything, but keep that in mind as well. But the juniper stays for a while. Then it's again the musky vanilla in the end. It's very strong performing. I've had no problems with this at all very strong you can smell it all day but it's also again not too much so again just like all the other ones really really good perform now Sweven, which is the dupe for mfk's baccarat rouge if you are familiar with perfumes at all baccarat rouge is a really well-known perfume at this time i have to say what i didn't say in my perfume haul is whether or not i would buy originals and things like that and i briefly touched on that with the black opium is at this point i would probably get 
the original black opium off one of those discounted websites because I like the scent so much that I want the original. Now when it comes to uh, a more oud, for example, the Tom Ford oud wood dupe, my husband does not need the original. The original is almost $400 Canadian, if not more, and he doesn't need that. He doesn't wear uh, like perfumes and colognes every day like I do, and it's just not necessary for him. So this is going to last him a really long time. It gets the job done. It was a nice gift, but I didn't, you know, fork out an arm and a leg for it. It's really good for that, and especially these are all really good for people who want to smell luxurious but don't have the money for it. I think everyone deserves that. So I do think that that's the good part of dupe houses and also why I supported them too. They're a small company, somewhat local to me as well. I'm from Canada and I wanted to support them as well and give them a try. So that's why I'm also making this video because there's not too, too many on them. And there was one video on them actually where they noted something about the reviews and I'll talk about that at the end. And I, want, I would like to get into that. I also did email the company as well. When it comes to would I buy the originals of the Gentle Fluidy Gold dupe or the Baccarat Rouge dupe, I would def... well, I would not get the original Gentle Fluidy Gold. I really do love the scent a lot. It's very unique, very unisex, more masculine leaning, but I don't love it enough to get the original. So I'm happy that I have this one. This one the Baccarat Rouge dupe. I think Baccarat Rouge is so classic and iconic at this point in its own right and the history behind it as well and where it came from that the original would be worth it. Unlike the Tom Ford ones or something like that that don't really have a lot of meaning behind it or history behind it at this point. Just like I believe Chanel Number no. 5 is a classic and I want that a part of my collection one day just because it's... I do like the scent a lot but it's just... A piece of history and I think Baccarat Rouge is a piece of history at this point. This is good to have though for first of all to try the scent on an, in a more affordable scale so if you wanted to try the scent to even see if you would even consider the original this is also a really good idea. There are many dupes for Baccarat Rouge. I know Ariana Grande's Cloud is a very common one but I just don't want to go down that route. Orientica has one called Amber Rouge and the bottle is gorgeous so there's a part of me that would be like well that's an experience in its own right maybe i'd get that one instead of this one in the future once i run out of this one but it would be still good to have that more affordable one even if you owned the original baccarat rouge because it is a little bit more expensive this is like an everyday scent for me this is gorgeous it's like orange vanilla sponge sugar with a little bit of woods um you know i did again a, a fuller review a little bit on that haul, but it's a gorgeous everyday scent, so I wouldn't want to plow through that expensive bottle so quickly. So I think this would be great for every day, and then if you want that special experience on like a night out, you could actually wear the original. So it really depends on where you're at, how much you like a scent. Like if it's your favorite scent in the whole wide world, well then maybe the original is worth it to you if you could justify it. I have By the Fireplace, you may have heard me talk about it before, it's one of my favorites. Uh, unisex perfumes. Uh, however, it's a little bit more on the pricey side and technically Okja has a dupe for it called Melting Embers. If you really liked that scent but didn't have the money for it or you even wanted it to last longer because even though By the Fireplace is well performing, it is an eau de toilette. It's a strong eau de toilette. Not eau de, all eau de toilettes are, you know, created equally. I still think I would want the original because of the meaning and the history that, you know, uh, Mason Margiela creates for his replica line. So you really have to see where you're at of why you even want perfumes, if you just want the scent, if you want it for the art itself, the history itself. It, it really depends what you're, <laughs> what you're going for with your perfumes. But I have thoroughly enjoyed my experience with all of this line and this as well. They're all extremely well performing. The Baccarat Rouge one is the one that I'll smell the next day on me. Uh, steaming in the shower. I'm wearing this one today. It's beautiful. It's comforting. It's sweet. It's addictive. It's long-lasting. It's great. All of them have been very high quality and well-performing. Now let's talk about the issue that some people have with Okja and I would say would not would be an area of concern possibly. When you look on their website, all they have is good reviews. It's like everything is four and a half, four point eight, and they've got multiple reviews. 
multiple reviews. And none of them are under four stars. If you were to look up lowest reviews uh, in order, it will only show four stars and up. Now, some people have said, like I've seen in that, in that one video, I'll, I'll possibly link that video down below, but she was doing in her research on the company, she tried out Midnight Nymph and she had a great experience with it as well, but she was just speaking on the ethics of the company that she believes uh, with, you know, her looking into it a little bit that they delete their bad reviews. Some people said that they have, you know, sent in their reviews and they, they didn't post or things like that. So that would definitely be a concern. Uh, I also, there's a part of me that somewhat understands it. Maybe like, you know, they're a small company, they're trying to just do their best and, you know, I don't know, maybe there's no justification there. Concern that that same girl in the video had was that nowhere on their website do they have their ingredients. Other than mentioning where they get their fragrance oils from, they don't actually mention what the ingredients are. So I decided to email the company before making this video and asking them what their ingredients were. And I'll put up that email conversation on the screen. And they said that their ingredients is just alcohol, I'm assuming a perfumer's alcohol, water, distilled water, and the fragrance oils. So they're saying that they don't add preservatives, they don't add linalool, you know, any of those extra additives that might change the scent profile or the composition at all. They don't add any of that. It's just alcohol, water, and fragrance oils. You can take that for what you'd like. I don't have too much to comment on that. Another thing I will say on that topic is I'm not a big fan of the black bottles. Not only with the black bottles can you not see where you're at, which really bothers me, I want to see how quickly I'm going through perfume. Like that, I, I want to see that dent. I want to see how slowly or how quickly I'm going through it. That also is a good indicator of how much you use or how much you find you need to use or reapplying throughout the day or anything like that. Um, oh, also I will say for longevity, even though I said it lasts all day and, and things like that, I would say on average around six hours. If you, you could still smell it, but if you just want that like experience all over again fully, then you might need to reapply it. But it's, it depends on, you know, if you're not putting it on first thing in the morning versus that. So longevity, very, very good. So I don't find that I'd be going through this too quickly. However, I still want to be able to see that dent. I really, I can't even see it in the light, which I don't appreciate. And I also find it a bit, not suspicious, but just, I wish that they would get rid of the black bottles if I had any recommendation. I also find, I want to see the juice. I want to see if the juice is completely blended. I want to see what color it is. When you have a vanilla heavy perfume, it's going to change over time and it's going to get darker and uh, the composition and the smell is even going to change a little bit. I want to see that happening to this. So even though they're UV protected, they're protected from the sun and that's all great. That is my complaint. I don't love the bottles. I really do wish I could see them. One other thing I'll say about their packaging is that it does have some changes per bottle. So I'm sure they've been working out uh, the kinks with their bottles along the way and improving them the best they can. So for example, out of the four bottles I have, only one of them has their logo on embossed on the top of the cap. And the cap and texture is a little bit different as well. Also the Baccarat Rouge Dupe Sweven is the only one that has a little bit of larger writing and all the other ones remain the same. So, as a whole, do I recommend Okja the company? Overall, yes. I think they're doing their best. They're just trying to, you know, make it work and come out with things that people will love. And their, their, their product is very high quality. Like, it is just as good as what's out there. But when you break it down to around that $50, $60 mark per 30 mil, a lot of perfumes are already at that price. For example, Kaoli, I've mentioned their Vanilla 28. It's around $113, $117 Canadian for 1.7 ounces. It's almost two ounces. Divide that by two, it's around 60. So you, 
they're very similar, but you're just getting a little bit smaller amount. It's not like they're just starting to sell 60 ml bottles now um, for the price that they are. So keep that in mind. I find that Okcha is really great for the dupes that are more expensive, like the Tom Ford, the Baccarat Rouge, the Delinas, things that are around that 300, 400 plus mark, like crazy amount for a perfume. And yeah, of course, that $50, $60 mark is going to be extremely better than that. But, you know, they have ones for, like I said, the buyer of the fireplace, I think I might stick to the original. Maybe one day I'll get the, uh, the black opium and the Baccarat Rouge. But for now, I'm super happy with what I have. I'm glad I have them. They've become my favorites very quickly. I've been rotating the three um, more feminine ones all the time lately. And I, I have been loving them. Like now Baccarat Rouge is like hands down one of the best scents in my whole collection. I do love it and I understand why people enjoy it. My husband got me that one for Christmas too. So that one's a little bit more special. But I have been really, really enjoying all of them. Um, yeah, let me know if you've heard of this brand before. Uh, if you would check them out, if you would try anything uh, from them. There's a couple more that I might want to try. Again, like they've got a dupe for Delina and things like that, those more expensive ones. Uh, and it's really hard to actually get samples for these more niche, more expensive, rare perfumes. So that's another reason why. And they do sample sets as well. So if you didn't want to buy the whole, the whole thing from them and you did want to get the original, well, they sell samples. And it's close enough to see if you would like the scent or not. So that is my review for the Dupe House Okja. I hope you learned something and enjoyed it at all. Let me know, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Take care.